Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to Crestorio for episode 61. So, we just found out that we don't have enough uh, petroleum to make all the plastic we need for basically everything. For example, the low density structure and other stuff as well, I guess. The electronic components, for example. So let's go and work on that. I think we only make the petroleum down and down at our oil processing. So that is the first objective. So we are producing or oh, processing oil non stop. We don't have a lot of heavy oil, we have enough lubricant. We do have a lot of light oil actually. So are we not able to process all of that? That's a bit weird. I guess we should add some more light oil cracking then. Wait, these are not running. Is this maybe a little bit too strict? Well, I guess it's okay to have a backup of this, so we can, can prioritize the fuel production. So it's not because we're too slow, it's just because we don't use it if we have less than 20k. Okay, but we can add some more oil refineries and expand this overall. Let's go and grab some of those. I think we are producing those up here, right? At least we are making chemical labs. How about... There they are. Oil refineries. Good. I think we need more chemical labs though. Especially if we're going to put down all of these. Don't think we will, but... Maybe we should just stick to 12. 2 to finish the current row and then 20, uh, 10 for another. Don't know how many labs we need for that. We need some more pipe and underground pipe though. Well, let's grab that. Good. Let's just copy paste this. And these. There we go. So now I think we're producing light oil as fast as we can craft it. just about I think we might have added a bit more Ooh, also we need to connect this I think we added a bit more light oil cracking than we would produce light oil but that's how we want it to be guess we can add some more Oh, we have larger tanks, let's use those instead. And add some more of them. And... Do we just add another 10 over here then? Or should we stack them on top of each other? If we wanted to stack them, then we should probably have the outputs over here instead. Mm. I think we'll just copy these. Let's copy the water as well. 
I don't think I want the fuel production, but we can just remove that then. Is this how we want it? I think so. Remove this stuff. Remove this tank. I guess we should replace these tanks as well. Just because we aren't running around with that sort of tank. Whoops. Oh, that can't be done. Never mind. Can we do that in some other way? I'm not sure. This can be replaced at least. We just need to add the wire again. Is this one right? Yes. And we need underwire for this as well. Let's just craft some more wires then. We can always use circuit networks. So this should work again. We removed our whole stock of heavy oil and our 25k of lubricant, but that's fine. Also, this. Mm. Let's drop this to 10k just so it starts running again soon. Water and oil here now. Good. Light all is routed back and it's all cracked. I think. Don't have enough oil for these. How come? Did we just use our entire stockpile? Or did we not? Oh, I guess we lost most of the fuel we had stockpiled. Because these can't just. Well, they have different outputs and inputs, so. We could only output the fuel from the tanks into the pipes, and they can't hold all of the fuel, so... Or the liquid, so... We lost it. Oh well. Time for some more advanced stuff now, I think. Question is if we should just already make a... Train station here for fuel. Or crude oil, I mean. Another question is if we should connect these networks. We probably should. I think we need more crude oil in this. We don't have better pump jacks, right? Pump. No, we don't. Okay. Whoops.
So where do we want this station? I guess we want it somewhere around here. So we can add another stack of these. And we basically want them pumping directly into these, so this spacing should... No, there can't be a pump in there, unfortunately. Too bad. So here, we want it. But we need some rail for that. Let's go and grab some more. Rail. Hopefully that's all we need. Actually pumps. Are we producing those? Yes we are. Good. Should I always have those? Yes I should. No, confirm, dang it. There are better pumps available than just these normal ones, but honestly I find that if you just manage the input and outputs correctly for these, then you really don't need faster pumping. It's still just the pipes being able to handle the throughput. Unless steel pipes can actually handle a lot more. No idea. Let's keep a full row of these. Actually, as we want to pump directly into them, we will need them moved down one tile. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Let's make a station. That seems fine. How does it? Yeah, that's fine. Maybe we should move it back one. Is it not possible to make these look good? Let's place the station and see. Okay, so if the tanks were moved over one tile, I guess it would be better, but I think we're okay with just doing this. Oops. Oh, these are okay, but... Can this actually get what it needs? I have no idea, to be honest. Let's try it. Fluid wagons. This won't work at least. So we actually need some spacing in between these. Let's just do this the right way then. Good. And we need some fuel for this. And we need robots to bring that fuel to us. Don't want it there. This should be okay. idea why we're outputting these into chests, but maybe they should be provider chests instead. No, we shouldn't. 
keep that large stocks of it. Okie dokie. So this is our station and we'll just connect it to the real network. Let's remove this old roundabout. And place a junction here. And remove that. Bring the other end. No, dang it. Don't do that. Just want you to force place that. And that fits so luckily. So well. It is lucky. Around here. This is OP. I don't think we'll need more than one fuel train, but if we do, we'll manage. These all connected, good. So where are we getting our crude oil from? This is crude oil. Oh, it's actually counting crude oil in numbers now instead of percent. Is that the mod or is that vanilla? Can these actually run out now? I have no idea. I guess we make a station here and then think that we can extend it down for these as well at some point. These are a bit in the way of the bus, so I don't think we'll be utilizing those. Could also take this patch up here. Only 3.4 million though. So there's more down there. This is even better though. I don't know what we want. If we do it up here, then we have access to the filters, the air filters from the station, and can just use the robots and all of that. Maybe that's what we want. Let's do it. It doesn't worry me too much that there's a longer distance to those. The trains will work just fine. Maybe we should just go into the station. Just not to block the other trains. Right there. Make some pump jacks. How many patches were here? Five. Yeah, five. Okay. So they'll all be pumping to some tanks over here somewhere. Let's put the rail down first so we get it right. Not those tanks, these. And pumps. Now, where would we want these rails? They would preferably be all the way down here. Should we maybe make the station over here instead of here? I think we should. Oh, come on. So that 
that makes the input be here, that's fine. As long as we have a bit of space between the junctions, that's good. Otherwise we need to uh, chain signal the, all of the junctions together, so you can't have a train in there that can't get out. And that gets a bit awkward. That will be a bottleneck. Where is our stations? There. We need it forward a bit. Oh, come on. Let's move these to the middle of each wagon. Good. And connect them. And turn these around. All of those are in a row. Good. Do I want them to connect to each tank? No. I don't think they'll be pumping fast enough to need that. Oh, I was off by one tile. Good. Then we need power. Let's bring the input rail with us and then bring power back. Please come back. Please remove the trees. Okay, base A T junction. Need those removed. Oops. Good. And we don't want this train to get out here unless it can get all the way up here. And it can't, but it is okay up here. Good. So they are exactly far enough away, I think. This over here should be okay, because they would, even if there wasn't a junction here, a train could still hold here and block other trains. So if it blocks trains behind it or from over here, shouldn't really matter. As long as it can't block the other, other line or lane, I guess. Let's bring some power. What is this? So oh, we need chain signals. Let's craft some of those. Good. Get some power in here. Now question is, are these threatened by the biters? I think we might need to put some filters around. Connect these to the other network. Basically just need logistics mode, at least over here. God dang it, I keep thinking that this mode is bigger than it is. Actually, let's just put the filters down somewhere.
Oh, we're out of all sorts of things now. Oh, what? No, we're just out of range. Never mind. <laughs> and we should replace these inserters. Robopod again, I just want the inserters. Good. So let's replace that blueprint with this. And surround the oil production with it. This is fine, we don't really need to wrap it all around, I don't think. Maybe we should do it anyway, though. And of course we don't have the room for this. Mm. Can we do it somehow nicely? Actually, let's just build this as far as we can. Oh, this is okay. They even connect, so that's just fine. Good. That should be all right. Did we forget anything? I don't think so. Don't really need these though. Don't really need this either, right? We are connected to the power. I guess we could just put some of these up here as well. In case the coal miners start again. Wait, what? Oh, I'm not used to making this sort of corner. I think we will just put a robopod in here. Actually, there should be some higher tier robopods, but I guess they are immersite. Advanced robopods, small robopod and large robopod. I think the area of these are very good. So supply area 200 by 200, what is it of on these? 50 by 50, so it's four times as large. And even in logistic modes, this is not even 100 by 100, so... Large robopods would be great. And we are starting to collect some oil here, that's good. Let's call this oil one. And let's find our train. Wait, did we not make a train? Oh yeah, we brought it up here, never mind. Call this bus oil. The train is right over here. Oil one. Full cargo. Bus oil. Empty cargo. Go.
Oops. It just seems for a moment like we made too much space between these, but it should be fine. Let's just add some signals in here. We out of signals. I don't really need this many signals, but now I'm doing it anyway. Oh, please take me with you. Thank you. Maybe we should have put a radar up here. I guess this radar covers it all anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I was sort of actually expecting it to give us more oil than this, but maybe we're fine. See, these pumps do just fine. That was a full train that was unloaded in a couple of seconds. And this should be running for a while. Let's just have a look if... I guess it's filling up these tanks as well now. But let's see if the train gets back here again before we use all of this. Sure it will, and then we would need to make more few oil stations. This patch is just so nice. I wish we had access to that, but it will get in the way. Oh, we have oil right here as well, but there's not a lot in there. How much is in our starting patch? 2.5 million. Well, that was probably 3.4 at the beginning then. Expected resources 9.6 million. What does it mean then? Will it still get slower and slower? and just keep producing, or how do they work? I don't know. All of our refineries are still working. Still have a good amount here, it seems. Considering that we only got 100,000 in. And it has been shared out between all of these tanks by now. How close are you? Only half full. Well, maybe we need more oil. But let's just see. This should give us enough petroleum for now, I hope. Why are these not running? Not enough light oil. Oh wait, since we connected this light oil with the light oil over here. These will just be using all of the light oil from over here. Whips. We need to secure the output this way as well. Connect it to the same things and paste and power. This is a bit sad, because we can't take any of the oil from over here in anymore, but... Well, does it matter? I 
not really. We want to ensure that we get the fuel production. Everything else from this is okay. So this should start to back up again, and it is. And then these should start running again when it reaches 10k. And we are still running over here, good. We are getting low though. Below 2k. This is pretty close though. Should we put speed modules in these? Can we actually in this mod? Yeah, we can. Two point eight per second in all of them. Okay. Ah, is it just a shared thing then, or is it? I don't know. These all mine two per second. Does that mean that we get ten oil per second? That doesn't seem like a lot. Or is it ten times a hundred, so one thousand per second? It's not 1,000 per second at least. So it seems like 5 seconds or something for each 1,000. Let's just count from 90. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four seconds per one thousand. That was very scientific. Don't doubt that. I have no idea about the mining speed on this then. But oh well, the train should be full soon. And pollution is doing just fine. And we are still working a bit up here. Very close to going empty though. I think it's fine. Our petroleum pipes are not nearly full yet. And neither is the tanks. The important thing though is well, these all full. The sulfuric acid is doing fine. All of those are full. These are full as well because we don't really use the shells and we have a line going up to no oh wait this line going up to plastic for our electronic components and that is not doing entirely well it is slowed down a bit so we actually need more petroleum still especially since we are also using more of it further over uh, where is Oh yeah, we have some plastic production here. That is running fine though. Is that it? No, I think we have some more plastic production up here actually. Don't we? Oh, for the electronic components, of course, yes. They are not getting any silicon because we are backed up on stone like we thought we wouldn't be. Because we haven't connected this back. Dang, we're smart sometimes. This should get it working again, right? Starting from the top. Yeah. 
more of these will start. Good, 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 good. And with these, each of them starting, it will go faster with the rest of them starting. So, all good. Wonder if we did that in other in other places. We don't really do the the quartz thing in other places, so I don't think it's a problem. With the exception of over here, but we have hand glue here, right? Yes. So I think we're just fine. Let's have a look at our oil again, just before we forget all about it for now. Filled up again. I guess we would still want some more, but let's focus on other things for now. And actually I've forgotten all about the time. So it's time to end this episode. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.